Hey guys, it's Amy back for part two of the stuffy puffy ears from A Stitch For You. So we're going to just continue where we left off. I stuffed both my ears. You can see they're relatively the same size. And we're going to put them on like this way. And then here's the back, the super big heads. All right, so I stuffed them. And then... I'll just fix this one while I'm telling you. And then you tuck it in, like so. And you can see your guts there in the middle. Same over here. This one, this is what you don't do, is trim too close. Because now I'm going to have to really glue that one good. Um, to make sure that nothing gets out the corner there. I did not. I cut that one way too close. There we go. Alrighty, so we're going to glue these bad boys on in a minute. Um, first, we are going to cover our headband, and this one is from Hobby Lobby, and it's already satin covered, but I'm, I don't like leaving them that way. I like fabric covering them, so I've got my scrap fabric here, and what you want to do, let me get a good edge here. Is you're gonna want to start oops let me get back in the there we go so you're gonna want to start and you're gonna roll your headband down and see that piece isn't long enough see that now with a print like this because it's all directions I have the luxury of kind of starting over here and not having to follow the pattern of the fabric. So see, even there, you have to keep rolling. So the other thing you can do is you can measure, starting on your cutting mat, and just roll it down. And it looks like this is about 14 inches. So I'm going to grab my big piece of fabric here, and I'm going to cut a strip. If I can find a good, a good spot. Looks like I have one right here that's about 14 inches. Sweet! Now, you also want to leave a little bit on each end so that... I don't think I can turn this much more. Um, so that you have enough to wrap over, right? So we're going to use a longer piece. Do, do, do. You see any of that? Just a little, huh? And guesstimate where we're cutting here. cut the whole strip off because I need the space. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this headband and I'm going to decide how wide I need it to be. And I'm going to trim up this edge so that it's a little straighter. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Let's see. We're going to start here, and you want a little bit, let's say, maybe half an inch to fold over. You can't see that at all. Let me start on the other side. Okay, like, like that. So, we know that we want half an inch, right? So that you can have a clean edge to fold over. But what we need to decide is how wide. So you don't want it to go over and hang over the other side, right? So you're going to do, let's see, a little more. Let's do about a half inch. Yeah, half inch is good. Uh-huh. And then we want... 
about a half inch on that side. So I'm going to say it is one and a half inches wide. Okay. And if we start a half inch in and we roll our headband, hopefully you can kind of see this here. We're going to cut it about there. Sorry, I was totally stretching out of my... Okay, so our headband strip for this specific headband is 15 inches by one and a half. Okay, so I'm going to use my straight edge here. By one and a half, except I totally cut crooked, which is totally awesome. <laughs> oh, guys, don't cut after a long day of school and children. <laughs> Maybe I should have some wine. No, not while cutting. Bad idea. All right, one and a half. One and a half by 15. Now, hopefully, I did not just cut that too skinny, or I'm going to have to do it again. At your widest point, now I'm using a cotton lycra again, so I'll be able to stretch it. Can you kind of see that? It goes almost to the center, and we're going to cover the inside with a strip of ribbon to clean up all of our edges. So this will eventually look like this. Oh, uh, there you go. See that? And I'm using a red velvet glitter ribbon because it's what I had and I wanted it to show up for you guys. Normally if I was doing this for a customer, I would use one that matched the fabric. Um, but this glitter ribbon is kind of nice. It kind of holds onto the hair without pulling it, which is, uh, and an added bonus. Yeah. Okay. So we have our strip. We have our headband here from Hobby Lobby. And you can see that it's a little, whoop, whoop, I'm, my camera's all messed up, you guys. Okay, there. Whoop. Stop bouncing. It's a little narrower at the bottom. It gets a little fatter at the top is the perfect size for these ears. I absolutely love these. Gotta go get some more. Now, to start, so for your first edge, we are gonna fold our fabric over, like so, and we're gonna glue that right there, okay? And put the, and center the headband right in the middle of the fabric. Alrighty. So let me start with that. Do, do, do. Sorry for the crazy kitties in the background. And when you're doing this, you want to kind of make sure that you're rolling it just a little bit so that you can, whoops, so that you can um, make sure that it's in the center. All right. So we've glued that little corner down and I'm gonna do a little bit of glue on the back side to make sure that really stays in place. Okay. Okay, now. We are going to start by folding in one end and actually we're going to cut this piece before we do that. Let's see if I can cut this while I'm on the camera. I think I'm at a good angle. So you're going to take your scissors and you are going to make a little, take out a little square on either side like Come on. Focus. There you go. 
like so. Okay, and that is going to help it to um, be a nice clean edge. Okay, so there I did it on that side too. See that? Now, when you fold this in, as theory goes, tuck that edge in, and then we're going to glue it like this. See that? And you're going to have a nice clean edge there. So put a little bit of glue in there. Don't burn your finger. Or try not to. Always a good bonus. Okay, and then put a little more glue and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Folding it in on itself so that you have a nice clean end. And there you go, see, nice and clean. And then from this side, it's nice and clean also. Now there's two ways you can do the, the uh, gluing the fabric on the head, this headband. You can go this way and zigzag it uh, in little spots and do it all the way down so that you get it in the center. And then go back and do the sides in Okay, or you can do it where you um, glue a little bit on the inside here and then the other side and kind of go around on the inside. I like to do the outside. Okay, so bear with me. This is the part that takes a while. So I am going to do a section and then stop it and then do a couple sections and then I'll come back. Okay, so you're just going to, I just go up just a ways. See if you can see that glue on there. And I like to pull it so that I know that it's tight and in the center. And you can see there it's going down. It's going down. And then I'm going to do another little section. And I'm going to roll it to make sure that it's in the middle. And I like to press that down so you can see it's going. And then we'll go back and do the inside. So just give me one second. I'll do a few more sections. Okay. So I've done it all the way around. And I'm to the last little spot. I'm going to add my glue on there. And I'm going to tighten it down. Okay. I've made my little notches at the end. And I'm going to fold that one under and glue it on the inside. Again, you kind of pull that CL, that cotton lycra up there. The stretch is nice. Okay. Now I'm not going to go back and do that end until we get to the bottom. Okay. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to work on one side and then I'll flip it over and work on the other side. Okay. So you do, oops, I just burned my finger. Whoops. So you're going to put a little line of glue there and you're going to pull that fabric in so it's nice and tight. Okay. Just a little bit at a time to make sure that you're really getting getting it in there and you're not getting too many bubbles because then it would be bumpy on your head or on your um, customer's head and that would be bad news, right? So you're just going to kind of, you see that? Push it in. Stretch it on there. Make sure it's down really good. And then when you go to put your glue in there, kind of tuck it in so you can really make sure you don't have any open spots because that's bad. Okay. And pull again. Keep it 
tight. Whoops. Don't glue your finger. And you can see it's really starting to cover. Okay. And just keep going. So I'm going to keep going on this side and then I'll turn it over. Okay. So I've got that one side down. And now I'm going to go back and do the other side. Okay. So give me one second. Get back to where I started here. And you're just going to tuck it in there and make sure you're getting it in good. Okay. And you can pretty much keep it in the middle because as you pull your... As you pull your fabric over, you want to make sure that it's covered. Okay? And if you put it too close to the edge, then you'll have glue bubbles. Right? And remember, we're going to cover this up. And I just do little sections at a time so that I don't have my glue... Um, hardening up before I get to it. Okay, and you want to just keep pulling your CL. Okay. So that when you look at this side, it's nice and tight. Okay. All right, I'm going to do some more and then I'll come back. Okay, so my headband's covered, as you can see here. And now I am going to cut a piece of ribbon to go on the inside after I move my glue gun out of the way. And you can see it's just um, three eighths of an inch is a great length, is a great width. And again, you can roll your headband. I don't know, you can't see that. You can roll your headband and you don't want it to be all the way to the very end. Down to get your length. This is right at 14, so we can cut it a tiny bit shorter than 14. Okay. Trim up your ends to be nice and straight. You can always trim it up as you get to the end also okay so then this one we are gonna start in here and you're gonna just start here at the end I can always show you on this one it's easier since it's already done maybe see that it doesn't go to the very end but almost okay so we're going to start right on the inside with some glue, just a little bit, to get it started. Okay, and you just want to get that as centered as you can, okay. And this is going to go right down the center, like this. And see, it's going to cover up that center seam and make, oops, sorry, <laughs> and make it look real finished. Okay, so you just do it, glue it in little sections along the way, do, 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 do. and in a second, you will have all the unsightly edges covered up. Okay, so just give me one second. Okay, so I went ahead and covered the headband and I added my ribbon on the inside, as you can see. I got a little crooked on the in and the middle there. Whoop, promise I'm not having wine. <laughs> and now we're gonna attach the ears. So I'm going to turn the camera like so, move these scissors out of the way, 
And if you're working on a cutting mat, it's like a super good idea because I learned in one of my um, tutorials, I'm going to stand up here, whoops, um, it gives you something to work on. So let's turn that a little bit. There we go. Put this up here. Okay. So you're going to want to decide where you want your ears. And I've decided with my other set about three squares up from the bottom. Let me get my trusty pencil here. And I'm going to make a little mark on it, but you don't want it to show too much. So give me one second. I'm going to use a purple pen because I it will go with the fabric. So before you get your ears on there, you want the bottom of them to be one, two, three, and a quarter up from the bottom. So you just go where these little dots are, and you just draw a little line. Okay. Whoops. And then you put them back. <laughs> And you do the same thing on the other side. So you go one, two, three, and a quarter up. Okay. All right. And you can barely see my little line there. There you go. See? Okay, so that's going to tell you where you want the bottom of each ear to be, and it'll be even um, spacing, okay? So, now, focus, what we're going to do is we're going to start on this side, and we are going to add glue just along your guts, okay? When you look at them this way, See how this side doesn't have as much stuffing in it? You just want to kind of move it around so that your base is kind of the same size. Just a little bit. Make sure it's tucked in nicely. Okay. You can pull it a little bit, but we're going to put glue on the guts. And we'll go back and glue um, the fabric down in a second. Okay. Make sure you don't glue them on backwards. That would be bad. And then once we get our glue on the guts, we're just going to line it up and try to center it on the headband. Okay? Sound like a plan? All right. Let's do this. Put your line of glue on there. Got our line. And then you're going to want to look at your seam, and that looks pretty good, and you're going to push. Okay. You can feel where your gut base is. And just hold it there for a second to make sure that your, um, that glue's in there drying. Okay, and now you can see it's a little wobbly, but it's on there, okay? So instead of going to the other side and adding the other one already, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some glue, if you move your fabric, right inside there, and then I'll press that down and kind of pull the fabric to hold it, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, okay? Be right back. Okay, so I've done that to the front and the back. Then you also want to go under the end here and see if you have a if you have a gap. This one looks nice and tight. And then on the inside, see there's just a little gap right there. So I'm gonna just slide my guy in 
in just a little bit just a little hair and then pull that fabric down like so see there we go and you can see it's not as wobbly as it was okay so now we're going to move on to the other side and I'm going to look for my purple line which is right here and again you're going to look at this one and remember this is the one that I didn't trim right bad me and so you're going to make sure that you get that under there All right, oops. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna add my glue to the guts. Grab another glue stick here. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra because of that edge. All right. That was a little bit much, I must say. And I'm going to line this up with my purple line. And then I'm going to center it here and there. And then you're going to want to kind of adjust it. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to hold this up. And we're going to add glue there. To that gap. Just a little. And then we're going to hold that fabric down so that it really adheres nicely. We're going to do that to the back. See how we have this seal that fabric I can move. That will give your ears a wobble. So just a thin line of glue. Don't get all glue crazy. And then, whoopies, see like that. And then you're going to push that, pull that fabric down. Actually, I'm going to pull that stuffing down. Goodness. Okay. And you can kind of adjust it and then we're gonna check for gaps and this one looks pretty good and that one looks pretty good too so now here's what I have so far lots of glue strings that will come off I don't know if you can let's see is that a good better angle kind of sorta Alrighty, so now we can add our trim to our ears, and I have a white one from Hobby Lobby here. There are many adorable ones, especially on Etsy, and probably, oops, sorry, bumpy, probably all over the internet, right? Um... Some people like the little rhinestones, and really, if you look at the edge, it's pretty even. Let's focus that. There you go. You can see we have a nice even edge. You can kind of round them out. You could leave them. I mean, if you look at that ear, you don't really need to add anything around it if you don't want to. Um, I like covering up the seams. If I could find the bottom or the end of this trim, that would be great. There it is. Okay, so this is just a little bead trim. And I'm going to face it forward like we did on this black one, but it's kind of hard to see because it's black. 
but you're basically just gluing it to the seam. So you're going to want to snip your edge straight. And you can use a little fray check on the end there, or you can just do a tiny little bit of run your glue gun over the edge just to seal up your edge like so. And then you're just going to start covering the edge. So before you do that, you're going to want to go to your ear and you're going to want to feel in here and you can feel the guts and you just want to make sure that you're getting it, that it's in the right place. Okay. So that you have a good edge to, um, to glue this to, and you're just going to tuck it right in here with a little piece, a bit of glue and then just work in small increments. Okay, sound like a plan? And it'll look like that, it's gonna be so cute. All right, so I'm gonna put a tiny bit of glue down there. Again, you don't want it to show. And I'm gonna get my trim here and tuck it in to the edge. See how I tucked that in? And it just glued just the first hair. Okay? So now, hold on, I'm all twisted here. Working in with a tiny bit of glue. Get it over where you can see it. My old, old trusty glue gun here. Right along your seam, because if you get too much, it will totally show. Okay, and then you're going to place it on there, just covering the seam, okay? See that? And you're going to continue all the way around the ear like that. Okay, so there is the trim on that one, and I just tucked it right into the bottom. There you go. Okay, and now we're going to do the same thing starting on the outside of this one. One thing I will say is that I like to do is I like to start by trimming right after one of the pom-poms so that I have a little bit of trim um, to tuck in there that's not a pom-pom because then it can get in a little bit tighter. And... Um, I'm just going to kind of seal this. Oop, see, like that. It gets all fuzzy. So I'm just going to seal that off with some glue. And then we can start the next one. Okay. Okay. So let's get this focused here. There we go. We've got our trim now. And now, we're at those adorable, look at that, oh, so cute, hi Punzel. And just remember, once you put them on there, once you put your trim on, you're going to want to kind of move your, your um, batting around in there and kind of even them out, because as you're squeezing them all around, they're going to get a little uneven, okay? So I am going to set that aside and move the trim over there. I remember we started our bow earlier. There we go. Okay, so now with her bow, normally when we make the stuffy a stitch for you bows, we add um, a snap onto the center so that you can switch them out. But these we're not going to switch out. You could do that. Um, and what you would do is you would take your um, puffy bow here and you would cinch it up. I'm moving the stuffing around, sorry. I think my girls were touching it. And you would take your, whoops, I'm out of the camera. Hold on. There. And you would take your center and take it around like that. 
and then you would also take it around your ears and snap it and then you could have a an interchangeable bow but we're not doing it that way today today or tonight now it's nighttime i am going to close this up just a little bit more with some a little bit more glue and i'm going to glue my first end To the middle and I'll show you in just one second hold on like so and I'm gonna give it just a second to dry um, because the glue takes a little longer to dry on the lame okay so you can see I'm gonna take off the extra from where I was holding it and we don't want to see that anyways so now that that's on there you can squish it again move your batting side to side just makes it squish a little bit easier and I tend to go back get my fingers in the right place we go and pinch pinch again and back if that makes any sense whatsoever you're going to take your middle and you're going to bring it around to the bottom and we're actually going to glue it on right there okay so you're basically going to hold this out of the way and glue it right down there Kind of hard working around the glue gun and be on the camera not quite used to that yet so bear with me here again you could hand stitch this if you were so inclined it would um definitely not move then look insta cute bow oh my god i miss minnie so much I think I need a research trip to Disney World. I get the hubs on that. Okay, so adorableness, right? And this is what it's going to look like. Holy crap. Now, with this bad boy. So you've got your seam under here. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to find the middle. I like to do it from the back. I just feel like I can see better of the bow and you're going to want to put glue right on that seam and glue it right to the center you're going to just eyeball it with the center of your ears okay and that's going to be our starting point okay so i'm going to start with some glue just a little tack down there i'm going to grab my bow here and you got to manhandle it to get it where you want it and then you can go from there see that and you're going to hold it in place so that it really really adheres okay so see that's on there now right you're going to pull these guys forward and then see these big gaps where you can see through? I hate that. I don't like it one bit. So we're going to glue those down. Okay. If you were to leave it like this, you could. But I kind of, you're going to want to spread it out. And then when we glue it down, we're going to kind of push down like this so that it spreads itself out. Okay. And then we're also going to glue some to the ears. And you're going to want to move your batting around so that your seams don't show. You know, like so. And remember, when they're on your head, they're going to spread out. You know. And so we're going to start with the back. And we're going to put some glue right down in here. OK. 
okay and then we are going to pull down this fabric and close up the gaps it also makes it a lot stronger you can see that glue is still moving it's not dry okay so see I closed up one side and now we're going to do it on the other side also and we're going to pull down this fabric oh man these are so cute you guys <laughs> My girls are going to freak tomorrow. It's the first day of school. Okay. Whoop. Oh, sorry. Camera malfunction. Okay. So see, that started to pull in the gaps. Now, see how I can still totally move that? I am going to secure this by putting some right down in here. And then I'm going to stick that down. Because I really don't want these going anywhere. much better okay I'm gonna do the same thing on this side if I can move it right and you're just gonna pretty much just kind of squish it in place for a minute till that dries and you can get your glue thingies off there Okay, so see how that's looking so much better? <gasps> so cute. So stinking cute. I can't stand it. Okay, so now here's what your back looks like of the bow. And then here's the front. So next, prop that up so you can see it kind of. We are going to glue right here to the ear. Okay. To hold that bow in place and hold those ears in place it gives the ears a little more stability and we just really want to make sure that we are good to go so again I'm just putting applying a little firm pressure there I've got the glue in there I can blow on it if you feel like it okay so I did it to both sides, and you can see, look, if you look at them this way, doo -doo -doo, everything is nice and together, like it's not moving, it looks totally cute when you put it on. You can kind of fluff here to give it, so it's not so much at the top, and you can move your stuffing around now that they're stuck down. But if you look from the back, you could probably even add a little bit right here. I'm going to do that, actually. Just one more line of um, holding it in, holding those guys together. And then I'm going to do that on the other side too. Because if you're expecting someone to wear these on a ride, you really want them to be held together well. You know what I mean? Okay, I think we are finished. Dun 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 dun. Good to go. Yeah. Both in place. Not moving anywhere. No glue showing. Look at that. Oh my god, they're so cute, you guys. Stop it. Eek. Okay, so now show you what they look like Let me get this off of the stand whoops sorry oh my god look at that yay they're super adorable
adorable. And there's the ones from before. So cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. And thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me for part one and part two. I know it was long. It's a long process and I have a huge respect for um, stuffy ear girls. Um, people that make these are true masters of a craft. And that's it. You're all set. Good luck, and we can't wait to see what you make. Have a great day.